All right, folks, moving right along on this thing. Uh, haven't done much filming, but let me see. All the rear is pretty much uh, done, well tacked together. I got a lot of welding to do, but we're just trying to get everything fabricated first, and then we're gonna we're gonna weld it. Let me show you what I've done. I'm working on cleaning these these up. You know, it almost makes me wonder if I should have spent the extra hundred bucks and got another stick of the four inch. But in the long run, you save a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks. So anyway, so I got one more cross member here to get cleaned up, and then I got some more to put in up toward the front. We've got all these in now because of the quarter inch plate there. I've had to block up each one of these a quarter inch, and uh, I could have ran a plate the whole distance, but I didn't want to waste my plate. So we put an old cross member in the back here, so it's not perfectly straight, but it's okay. It's not warped this way; it's just warped left to right, and you won't see it when the boards are on. And then. Uh, I put two pieces of three inch back here, welded them in. Uh, I went to full 20 foot two inches. Now I had to add to the back of that one to do that. So what I've done, as you can see, was uh, I cut the other end off and then I just took this end and put on here to make it both of them wedged up. So that'll work and then we added a cross member in close and it'll get all welded in. And then we got a piece of angle on top right here. And our board actually slides up under that angle iron. All right, folks, uh, haven't done much filming, but I have done a lot of work. So we've got the axles mounted. These are 7,000 pound and they are Dexter axles. Uh, really got a good deal on these. I uh, want to give a little shout out to Hudson Brothers Trailer. Um, down in Indian Trail, North Carolina. I went down there and these axles was about $100 a piece cheaper than anywhere else I could find them. And then I get down there and, you know, I didn't, they didn't know I'd done YouTube or I didn't tell them anything or nothing, nothing like that, but just a, no different than, you know, a regular walking customer. And I actually told them I wanted two axles and I needed all the mounting hardware. Uh, the rockers, you know, the bolts, the brackets, everything to mount it. I didn't want to have to make anything uh, because usually you can get it a lot cheaper because they uh, they make it and you know have it all or they order it and have it all ready. But anyway, I uh, I had him get everything together and uh, when I got ready to, he said, well, first he said uh, I need to give you an extra cap because he said you'll probably break one before it's over with, and he was right. I broke one. And then he said uh, he wasn't going to charge me for none of the other stuff. So he only charged me for the axles. So I felt like I come out really good, and I I was really tickled with that. I don't, you know, you don't get service like that that often anymore. I mean, they acted like they appreciated your business because I think they really appreciated your business. So anyway, uh, I would recommend them for sure. The Hudson Brother Trailers. They build Hudson trailers. But uh, they got a really nice parts area, or parts room there that's got everything, and they've got some guys there that really know their stuff. And uh, they even give me the measurements on what I needed to to do center to center on all this stuff, so I wouldn't, you know, have any issues. Uh, we spoke, I uh, talked to him about the height of what I needed to be able to clear my my trailer without, you know, a particular size tire hitting, and they knew the the answers to all my questions. And uh, that's, you know, impressive to, to work with somebody like that. So uh, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the, the whole situation. I was going in thinking I was going to spend about 1500 bucks. I got out with $1,100. That was with two new axles and all the brackets. Electric brakes, springs, bolts, lug nuts, everything. All right, so we've ground a bunch on this thing, cleaning it up, getting it all ready. Uh to try to get some paint on but we're going to flip it over first and i've got some welding to do the plan is let me back up a little bit here okay so i got the crane over top of it right now so i am going to actually pick this end of it up and try to pick the whole trailer up and flip it long ways with the nose facing up that way and that way i can go on and get everything on the tongue welded I need welded. The axles are done, they're on. Uh, the only thing I do have to do is change lug nuts. Uh, I put them aluminum rims on so I need some different style lug nuts. 
so anyway all right here's what we got for lumber this is the deck I cut all this some of it's uh there's a couple of uh two by tens most of it's two by eight two by nine I think there's a couple two by sixes in there or two by sevens maybe but anyway I mean I wasn't worried about with uh you know when I was doing this trailer instead of worrying about cutting it down to an you know a Let's say a two by six if it come out two by seven and a half i'd just leave it seven and a half i mean i'm trying to you know not use as much lumber if i have to and uh all these are um inch and three quarter thick they're not full, full two inches i want an inch and three quarter and so that's what i cut them and i think that'll work out good for what we're doing now we are going to treat these with some oil or some uh transmission fluid or kerosene and oil diesel and oil diesel and transmission fluid or something we're definitely going to mix something up to treat this stuff with and try to just keep the bugs out and the water out. That's the two things that we need to do. So anyway, let's see if we can get this trailer flipped. Uh, see how that works out for us. All right.
All right, folks, we got it flipped over just fine. And now we're working on here. Now, as you can see, these would have hit the cross members, no doubt. But now I could have come up and just put boards, and the boards probably would have cleared. But I don't even want to take a chance on it. Uh, don't need that. If the rocker comes up this way and it's got a lot of weight on it too, I mean, there's just no use worrying about whether it's going to rub or not. So, here's the plan. Uh, we're going to run a piece of angle like this all the way across. That would be 16 inches. And then we're going to run a piece of 2 by 2 scrap all the way back. I'm going to have to weld one together. And then I think I've got one that's long enough. And then uh, we will tuck the boards under here. And then we'll put them in from this side and, and just slide them over because it'll be back this way. It'll be tucked in. And then it'll be tucked in here just like this board. This is the way I want it. I want them to go under, under the edge. And then they're going to come up to the 10 foot mark. I think it's right here. And then I'm going to add another cross member right beside it. And we're going to run bolts up through and we're going to run a strap across it. And that's what will hold all the boards down front and back. One strap. So that's the plan. So let's get at it. Okay, folks, pretty much done with all the metal work. Main thing we got left is some paint, uh, cleaning up some more, some paint and uh, boards. So that's tomorrow. Uh, got my jack right. They didn't have the hole in the right spot. So I've redone it, plated both sides, put the hole where it needed to be. Uh, done a little work here where they had put this together. Uh, done some work on the on the actual hitch itself a uh, little bit of everything uh, put let me see we've got three d rings with one every five foot here and then we've got back corner i put one of the originals back on this was on it before and i'm going to put the other one on the other side and i use some of the uh five, the three sixteenths that came off of the deck to cover our wheels so should work out fine so anyway next is paint and we're going to do gray and put some reflective tape on it get some tail lights on it and try to get her all finished up here so that'll be part three all right appreciate everybody watching till next time bye